ചെയ്തോം പെരും ഭാഗ്യം <laughs> who is the owner vivan who owns anger as a product or as a toy just look at it as a toy 
see when you say when you say how to control my anger when you are given a toy how will you how will you say it to your friend uh, denoting the toy pinpointing the toy what will you say this is my toy how will you say you will say only you will have to use only this statement no this is my toy this is my toy uh, and yes. when you say when you when you look at on your right side you see your mummy how will you how will you say her she is how will you introduce her she is my mummy yes she is my grandma his anger is you see your grandma is certainly you you should claim that she is my grandma you will not allow your friend to say your grandma as his grandma isn't it you will not let him claim that no you will never let your grandma to be have uh, owned by your friend no uh, then then in this case now what you said how to control my anger why did you first of all an unwanted thing uh, it is not at all yours at all why did you own it <laughs> you get that see your grandma is certainly your grandma is certainly your grandma it is not your friend's grandma she is not your friend's grandma right okay okay anger comes and goes it is not we want at all no yes Well, yes. well, uh, yeah, it is certainly not Vivaan. Anger visits Vivaan for a moment and makes him angry and just leaves him abruptly and goes away. That's all, no? Why do you care okay. for it? Uh, why do you care for it? If you don't care for it, you are already controlled anger. It is not yours. You got the point? Yes. Yes. If you don't care for it, if you don't own it, if you don't say I am angry, because certainly you have come to know today, anger visits and leaves you. It takes over you for a moment and goes away also. You are not always angry. Are you always angry? No. No. Then go for the visitor. Why do you bother? Why do you want to control him? When you know certainly that he is only a visitor, he catches hold of you. You know you are not the truth of him. Yes, Kuniti. So, yeah, truth has dawned in you now about anger. It is not you. It is a visitor. If it comes, you happily say. i i cannot make you reside in me i cannot let you in me you don't occupy me you are not me you are something a visitor you cannot be me at all isn't it all these yes. things all these things you have come to know isn't it yes good evening oh uh, how will you treat a stranger you will not be concerned about him no Yes, correct. Yeah, uh, yeah. Stranger only visits and leaves the house. Yes, good idea. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> understanding. <laughs> My blessings to you. No more anger. No more anger. Don't let him in. Treat him like you are. Lovely, sir. Stranger. Fantastic, fantastic. Kid. actually through you have you have taught everyone in the, of this world no how to how to how not to entertain strangers within us better <laughs> fantastic we want fantastic hmm? fine fine thank you guruji yeah 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 now shall we go to the meditation technique too straight away yes yes, yes. Uh, uh, did you did you cover 15 sittings till today morning Have all of you did done? Most 15? of it, yes. Most of it. 
मोस्ट ऑफ इट यू हैव डन नो मोस्ट ऑफ इट यू हैव कवर्ड नो मिनिमम हाफ एन आवर मैक्सिमम एनी अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इवन व्हाइल अवेक व्हाइल डूइंग परफॉर्मिंग योर डे टू डे कोर्स यू कैन सिंपली बी अलर्ट विद इन एक्चुअली दिस इज दिस दिस यू शुड नॉट मेक इट एज अ डूइंग अ प्रिपरेशन अ ध्यान और समथिंग लाइक दैट बिकॉज़ ऑल द टाइम इट इज देयर it uh, it is there but we are losing ourselves in the passing thoughts in the passing feelings in the passing emotions the emotions feelings and thoughts are strangers we should not entertain them we should not be familiarized with them okay this is the dictum this you love to 24 by 7 even at the middle of the night when you go for bathroom even at that time you should not be a thinker and do things you should never be a thinker or a feeler you should not entertain because all these things are coming from the cosmic mind as signals they are not you right you are a pure being a thoughtless emotionless in the way how we can say is thought transcendent feeling transcendent you know the meaning of transcendent that which is beyond if we have to come to australia melbourne we have to transcend trans indian ocean trans indian subcontinent am i am i right yes yes they call it as yes. trans continental flight right mm, correct if you have to go to america you have to transcend indian subcontinent then you will have to cross african subcontinent african continent then you will have to go to america so you are you are crossing all the transcontinental places that's why it's called as a transcontinental flight now this uh, thoughts no they are they they have their own world within us we should not let them entertain in the same way emotions in the same way uh, the experiences all the experiences the experience as see out of experiences one lay every one gets a solidified name and form not the other way let me explain you showing that video see this is self inquiry technique to what did i say for self self is nothing but the moment you close this external eyes of you the two eyes which are on your face if you close that you will be left with only one kind of seeing that seeing is taking place through mind through intellect and through ego all these three things are called the subtle invisible intangible imperceivable bodies do you know your thoughts are all having dimensions when anything has a dimension in length breadth height and in time also what is it actually made up of it is nothing but an object are we an object we cannot be an object so there must be a subject why do we do this saukya why do we do this self inquiry we want to know the real self the authentic one fake fake alone comes with dimensions the authentic cannot exist with dimensions if it is authentic if it has dimension then it also must be fake how how will you say we a thing is fake if it has a name if it has a meaning or a context or a dimension what is a zero dimension a dot is a zero dimension am i right a dot a dot in space a dot in a white sheet he say because it is unmoving it is stationary if you place a uh, ball point pen and put a dot that is one time zero dimension then that spot and another spot if you link it through a line linear form one dimension if you draw, draw a straight line it is one dimension and if you if you draw another perpendicular line now it gains two dimensions then like a cube if you make a box with a depth also inside it or a or a sphere or a cylinder where 
it has a, a cubic uh, measure within it volume within it then it becomes three dimensional this space complete space is three dimensional but within which many other dimensions do exist the fourth dimension is time time is also a concept in the time dimension we can go back also we can travel in backwards in time forwards in time because time is only a misnomer and just a name word sound nothing more than that if we, if we truly perceive things within us like this that is what is called as transcendence of mind and separate ego this we will go hmm? now in the in the first part we already saw did you see how did the dinosaur sprang up how did it spring up from from like fragmented pieces of physical body you see from here in the cosmos pieces of dinosaur they come together and form the dinosaur's body many pieces come together and form dinosaur's body it is symbolically i give next we will see and where from they arise you see i have termed it as cosmic mind then comes the experience then beneath that comes the feeling then beneath that comes the thought these three things the faculties the instruments that work within ourselves invisibly intangibly does a thought show itself outside of you can anyone know what you are thinking at the moment what you are feeling at the moment what you are experiencing at this moment that's why they are all invisible intangible imperceivable but they form the real essence of us each and every passing moment and their arisal also happen in a fragmented manner because thoughts don't happen in clusters they appear to be in clusters but whereas at a moment in a given moment one can think one can think only one thought he just can't travel in two thoughts because there are no two self awareness things exist at the same time in fact the reality is not even one self awareness is there that is what we are going to find out. then what is that self i am made up of what is that self which the cosmos is made up of all these things we are going to eventually come to so this is in the same way how a dinosaur dinosaur from out of fragmented pieces is this arisen the same way human beings we human beings thought feel experience as we go now it is given full form and full shape when all these three factors come into play what are those three factors first is the experience there must be an experience even one cell may by experiences its feelings it has its in its own way the eyes the ears the kidneys the lungs even a little ant also has that it has a heart it has a lung it has kidneys it has eyes it has uh, legs and simple thing like us how, how how they come into life how they become life they become life out of the 
invisible things what are they first is the experiencing experience seeking faculty then comes the emotional faculty or the feeling faculty third comes for a sixth sense to being species who, who is that sixth sense to species in the cosmos ourselves humanity don't we have that sixth sense to objectivity which directs within ourselves while we think we choose we pick up words we discriminate between good and bad just now our child vivan has asked a question no he has known very well that anger should not be there anger should not exist and especially for him he was at the very outset he started with that question he already has that feeling it is not a good thing to be entertained within me then it is contained in his experience no his experiences only come out as his feeling of anger and the moment he expresses his anger it gets formed through words and he speaks it out or sometimes if he cannot he just swallows it within himself but inherently he knows it is not a good thing it is an evil thing it should never happen to anyone such a wisdom naturally every human being has this faculty in the same way here we will we will we will we will see the other part the same way the human being also is made up like this this cosmos is filled with dust and gases and animate and inanimate objects and sentient and insentient beings mass of energy or forces quantum particles dark energy dark matter the invisible the universe itself is constituting around 95% of the total universe invisible black dark the remaining visible 5% in, in which alone we see all the stars and the billions and trillions of stars and planets and what not it is only 5% of the total 95% remains unseen unexplorable but it has a science but this grandest cosmos dissolves in our thought have you ever thought of this does the cosmos dissolve in us how such a big cosmos can dissolve in a single thought of a human being wherever your focus is wherever your conscious capacity is the conscious capacity cannot be just a formless being so it finds a way of emoting experiencing and forming thoughts and expressing it we just cannot keep ourselves mum 24 hours but certainly if we are shown the way we are ready to look at the very instruments that make arise all these happenings through our physical body and the perceiving of cosmos and the whole of the science isn't it last week we saw just to deploy your attention in we 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 in the sense the human body the human physical organism it is not actually the physical organism it is the subtle instruments that magnify this physical monitor like organism physical body but unfortunately we never know that the thoughts only make us to identify ourselves with our physical body and makes us a doer 
if someone is called called a doctor for what he is called as a doctor for what is talents for which of his capacities we call him as a doctor doctor thoughts engineering thoughts scientific thoughts he becomes a scientist mathematical thoughts he becomes a mathematician cosmological thoughts he becomes a cosmologist similarly even religions also hindu conditioning he becomes a hindu thought he becomes a hindu islam thoughts he becomes an islamic christian thoughts he becomes a christian everything has branched out from something from within we want to we want to exclusively know only that thing which is the truth not anything else at all not even we are not interested in what is an experience what is the feel and what is that which is that kind of thing that exists silently completely still when we are asleep we are not dead the minimum amount of existence of a of an organism is let with even for animals too when a dog sleeps when a, when a, when a cow sleeps they also they are also flat unconscious unconsciousness is it happening for the body even in that unconscious state the inner organs are all functioning very effectively more peacefully more rhythmically they are get, all, they all the inner organs are getting rejuvenated completely refreshed how unconsciousness of physical body also rejuvenates restores recoups revitalizes the physical organism so all the all the kinds of restful activities and everything show that our essence must be a still and silent and conscious being our essence our essence of the deep sleep state in sanskrit they call it as sat chit ananda sat is pure easiness formless nameless see here also you see the human being he is formed out of fragments only he this is out of fragments only what are these fra- fragments the fragmented conditionings of thought patterns each thought pattern has underneath its own the feelings or emotions the meaning of them and underneath that there is an i who wants to experience who wants to live attain achieve solve reach so many verbs they are all waiting to get expressed but everything is actually waiting in the form of invisible intangible subtle instruments there is no science available at all through this world about this but we can we need not have a science in the form of a book but we can straight away plunge into it look at it from various angles by sitting in just be and transcending transcendence itself is easy then reading about it now we come to the self inquiry technique to science of self inquiry inner gaze by closing the eyes and looking within which i sees inwardly throughout our waking state when you, when we are wide awake doing our day to day activities for anything and everything we use only our this physical these two eyes but they are two though they are two what they see is only one the sight which they see is only one though the ears are two what they hear or listen is only one sound because 
without beginning and without end in all over all over if you say it is cosmos universe universe also only one principle prevails as everything many is a confusion many is a confusion inquiry leads to the conclusion and settlement and abidance in oneness what is that oneness the moment you close your physical eyes 95% of your distractions are stopped 95% constituted only by these two eyes me remaining senses they call all the senses in the face senses of power jnana indriyas these jnana indriyas five jnana indriyas are there they are basically eyes then ears and nose tongue then touch the feel of touch out of this five eyes alone constitute 95% because our very existence our identification with our own physical body as a as an actor as a doer as a speaker as a listener as an enjoyer as a person who eats who walks who sleeps who runs who talks who jogs anything and everything is only through the visible light without light would anyone see anything but real seeing is happening beyond this physical eyes you know that that is what we had introduced to last week now immediately this week the second technique itself we want to get established in that one eye always let these two eyes be used for safety and other things but let us revert back to the original eye that we are going to make it blossom make it bloom the inner eye should get blossomed this is our purpose the real i exists during our deep sleep state but the whole factory or the whole garage is shut down there like an uprooted tree we fall asleep but we have to tread this path tread this self inquiry too in a very very gentle and subtle way with passionate involvement with a lot of self interest deploying on it because all the powers originate from this inner eye i told you no the man the man the fragmented pieces of the man the human beings body it got collected as if in a river shard and he stays away during the waking state how does it happen it happens what are those fragments it is nothing but all the things which are all hidden in the one eye we are going to purify that inner one eye so what is that eye that is why i asked this question by closing the external eyes and start looking within ourselves what do we see and who is the seer and what is that eye which sees inwardly what is the type which sees in world just close your eyes immediately you will start feeling you are not totally lift the body you will not feel that you are inside the body also there will be a feel of seeing that exists in you whether eyes opened or closed there is constant feel of a faculty seeing itself or whatever that passes or whatever the seer himself the seeing eyes become try to stay put with that inner eye even if it is blank that blankness is a the eye itself has converted itself into a thought it it says now it is uh, i don't look anything at all inside it is it is only black all these are all drifting away from seeing seeing 
บายทัตวันวันไหนเนเวอร์ลิตี้ทัพปะ don't utter even a syllable don't start a statement just be tolerate yourself Guruji can I ask you a question certainly um when you say look inward just mm. be mm. um whether I close my eyes or I do it um uh, at at a designated time closing my eyes or I'm doing it when I'm casually doing my work in the house mm. um it's just the constant flow of thoughts it's constantly there all mm. I'm trying to do is observe it but but there are times where i've fallen behind the thoughts and i need to pull myself backwards and sort of be an observer to them yeah. is what i'm doing is that right or is it no, no. or am i off you the are track habit, you are habituated to be an observer you 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 have voluntarily made yourself a voluntary observer because you don't know <laughs> who is the observer and what are the things which are observed you call them as thoughts i observe thoughts uh, uh, is that i who is the observer is he a thought or an observer it's only a name change you are given observer in reality in reality observer is the observer you can yeah. call you can call like this thoughts observe themselves or thinker observes himself okay. because there are no two things here either you drift either you right. fall down through thinking through thoughts see even this trio don't exist what are, what is the trio for any action there must be a thinker there must be the faculty of the process of thinking then there must be the employment of thoughts for thinking do they exist like this no reality is only one thing at a time it's like a three facet mirror reflection in one happening if you have a diamond ring it has a three facet in each facet it reflects the whole cosmos no just wherever it is directed the other facet yes. looks at the other direction the other facet looks at the direct one whereas only one diamond only one glossy surface shining glossy mm -hmm. surface in the same way mind is uh, more than a diamond it has uh, multitudes of capacities not one but uh, humanity has not known what is its highest capacity really what it is so they are actually they have started they have started abusing it for so many yugas we are also driven to be thinkers of thoughts and thinking is our only pleasure trip in thinking only we 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 enjoy or we suffer our enjoyments only through thinking our sufferings also sorrow also is from thinking Mm. so i i never said that i never told you to observe something i always said just to be either you as a silent watcher without even calling it as a watcher watcher word is a thought in your mind right, right? Uh, uh, now i may have closed my eyes let me watch let me watch is a thought of the watcher think that right as you listen to uh, these satsangs you should immediately as an enthusiastic child you should plunge into look at without speech without thought process that is what i am calling it as an i the inner i inner i without creating any sound without mm -hmm. a thought without a syllable without a word abruptly drop it 
the next okay. moment if you close your eye abruptly yes. stop thinking use that faculty itself as i initially it will be difficult by mm. and by by and by by and by you will come to know the inner space more wider more spacious spacious than the external cosmos mm. because the truth is only intelligence alone has the capacity to be anything right uh, an intruder takes control of the real authentic i and veils it as our thinking how can he veil it he should first convert himself yourself in you isn't it so oh, let me let me look this way or let me look that way something as a specialized way of looking you try to do something else so never observe anything at all observe the observer right. himself you get this point okay. when yes. you close your eyes there is something else which immediately is there actively you look at that okay you look at that active eye which sees or which doesn't see be with that you get this point mm mm-hmm. that is the yes. real eye that is the only eye that itself will get by and by by and by when the all the false falls in you all the fakes they collapse in you this will become the largest eye which will encompass the whole cosmos right because right. cosmos doesn't exist outside of this particular eye only one eye Mm. it is mm. evidently proved through our deep sleep states every mm. deep sleep state says your cosmos is not necessary at all you are not necessary your waking state gender hood is not necessary your human hood is not necessary your separate existence mm. itself is not at all necessary mm. this is a fact or my saying this is a fact no yeah it's a fact yeah well, let us abide by the fact what we have to say we are going to slowly and slowly and slowly not not dependent anymore on the external eyes always stay put within the internal eye one eye right it's actually yeah conscious feeling that itself is i right but in, in an attempt to do uh, in an um, attempt to there, hmm. in in an attempt to sort of look inward uh, being one with the um with the inner consciousness if i can call it oh, yeah. um but if there if there is a steady flow of stream of thoughts and i'm not i'm not going behind it as such but i'm not reacting to it either are you saying to drop abruptly discontinue the flow of thought consciously yeah. Yeah, yeah. see see consciously you will have to put all that up again yeah. you without without verbal verbally not saying it instead of terming it as a word or a statement what is this uncontrollably these thoughts drift me away make me sleep no statements nothing like that even that you look at it you have the yes. capacity to look right you have the capacity to look no suppose vivan is fast asleep eh? and suddenly some jerks is making while asleep how do you look mm-hmm. at it without making any sound no quietly passively yes Uh, so w- what was your intention at that time uh, not to disturb me by making any yes. sounds externally even your gaze or watch should be vigil vigil should be how it should be in silence right you slowly walk you slowly remove his blanket or you slowly covering with blanket 
you do such a fine thing no can we not employ all these things within ourselves the moment Should be able to yeah the moment when you are asked to close the eyes and do this just be you can pretty well do it then it can come in come and play play it in during our waking state eyes wide open also mm-hmm. in the kitchen mm-hmm. you need not communicate all the time with words at all mm-hmm. there, there there is a beautiful way of communication beyond this linear way of making statements and uh, wordy wordy speech wordy speech okay mm-hmm. after that this sets the practice by and by by and by by and by you will lose interest in talking you will simply you will simply start looking everything with them everything with them and exclusively what is our interest is we want to look at the observer himself not anything else at all right suppose you look at a particular way way you behaved yesterday in your mind don't go behind that instead who who is that person who wants to revive yesterday's experience and go after him through that experience look at him look at her okay. always be on the person always be on that individual with him this is our Yes. Okay, that is I. That is the real. He is moving with an I. E by E. Even in death, he never goes away. He only takes the next body. Right. So we are always going to live with him. This is our uh, kind of just to be practice every day. Okay. From now on, I expect you to complete fifteen settings mandatorily. and come with all doubts and questions from next week probably i will be also on time so uh, now with this the tamil part is waiting you can you can remain in the you can attach to all your zoom cameras and things also to whatever extent you can understand even through tamil you can wait and watch or if you want to uh, leave that's also fine because your time is up completely different you are four and half hours second half hours so i will join the, i will take up the next meeting for tamil next week on time on dot we will meet okay lovely thank you thank so you much for your time thank you yes yes